The game changer with this uh, that a lot of people were freaking out about is So that is the level up. What is up people? So today I am talking about one of the most important tools that I bring with me to any gig that I play. Um, I live in Nashville. I play at a bunch of churches. I play at a bunch of in-town shows. I play on the road a bunch. And some of that is for artists that I'm really familiar with their music. But a lot of the people that I play for, artists, churches, um, whatever, I'm playing music that I'm not that familiar with. I get called last minute and they want me to just fill in for someone or uh, it's church and it's five new songs every single week. So, uh, you know, people feel differently about this, but I'm a big proponent of reading charts. So if you are someone that reads charts, this is literally one of the most important tools that I can recommend to people. And I posted about this yesterday morning on my stories on Instagram and you all freaked out and said, you have to, wh where did you get that? What is that thing? Like, uh, how can I get it? What did you... So I just figured I'll put a YouTube video out and I'll tell you all about this thing I'm using. So what am I using? So again, I read charts when I play and not on every gig, but on a lot of gigs, I read charts and I read them off my iPad. So I used to have, um, as you'll see, my iPad, it has a case and you can you know, stand up your iPad like this, and that's cool, and I used to like set that, I used to take like a floor tom case or something, put that next to me, and um, I would set my iPad like that, but it can fall down, it's not very secure, um, you have to have a floor tom case, so when it's a really tight stage, or you're somewhere where there's a backline kit, and you didn't bring a floor tom, there's all kinds of problems with that, and what I really, 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 really hate is that if I'm reading charts, no, you don't wanna ever be glued to the chart, but if you're reading charts on a gig, then you have to get where you're at in the phrase or whatever. When you look down at your chart, most people's charts, when they're playing drums, most people's charts are over here or over here. They're looking to the side, right? And unless you just want to stare dreamily into the bass player's eyes all night, you want to be able to have the ability to read your charts and be looking ahead of you. That's where the audience is. That's where the lead singer is. That's where the congregation is. That's where the people you're trying to engage with are. So you want to be able to engage with them and look their direction while you're reading charts. Uh, so this device is going to cure all your problems. And some of you are saying, what on earth is this device? And this device is an iPad holder. So in the description, I'll put a link to it. I'm not endorsed by this or whatever. I literally didn't even know who made it until a second ago when I looked it up before I started recording this video. But um, the people who made this, I wrote it down on a fancy piece of yellow paper. It's the it's on Amazon. There's a link there. I bought my clip on May 14th, 2016. So it has held up perfectly since then. Um, and it is the IK Multimedia iClip 2 for iPad. Uh, it is... Whoa, let me try this again. The IK Multimedia iClip 2 iPad Music Stand Adapter. It rolls right off the tongue, super easy to remember that title. Um, I bought it for $39.99. This specific clip is for iPads generation, I think mine's a generation two, guys, I'm working with old technology. Um, but it works for iPads generation two, three, and four, and iPad Air one and two. So. This particular clip is might maybe a little bit older than some of the, uh, for iPads older than some of the ones that you might have. But again, this for two years, this has seen a ton of road time, a ton of gigs, been thrown in a lot of different bags, and it works really well. And let me get my, so you have the iPad with your charts on it. The iPad just slides into the stand like that. You can move the stand around. Great. So the game changer with this uh, that a lot of people were freaking out about is if you go on Amazon right now, there's a ton of iPad holders that you can clamp to a microphone stand. That's a very common thing. There's a ton of different ones. None of them you can clip to a bass drum hoop. So that is the level up. Remember, I was talking about reading charts. Everybody, everybody always looks to the side when they read charts. You don't want to do that. You want to have the ability to look to the front because I can still look to my side at a bass player while glancing at my charts over here. I can't look at the crowd if my head is like this all night. Okay, so what I've done 
and I'll try to, I might cut away to like show you how I've done this, but what I've done is, um, I've shown you a picture, I'm sure I've overlaid a picture of what this looks like in like the product description, because this clamp does not look like this in the pictures you've seen, right? And that is because what I did, so basically this is a V shape, and again, I'm probably highlighting this on some overlaid picture, but there's a V shape in here that is really good for gripping a microphone stand, but really bad for gripping a bass drum hoop. So what I did is I took like a triangle of cardboard, <laughs> really thick cardboard, I like folded it up. This is super, this is not fancy, but this is, this little adaptation that I'm telling you about has literally held for two years. So some of you might be watching this like, oh, it's so ghetto and like, you can say that, but it's worked for two years and I played a lot of shows with it. So I took some cardboard, folded it up into a triangle and shoved it into like the little V that's here. So that made a flat surface. And then I just put a bunch of gaff tape around here. So now this, is a flat surface. I don't know how I can get you to like see that. I'm gonna go in here and you see how this is a flat surface in here? So what that allows me to do is just slide this right on. The bass drum hoop is here and I can just slide it onto the bass drum hoop and screw this up and you're in business, okay? So I'll show you what that looks like now on a bass drum hoop. also see this piece of fabric floating around. So I literally just tied a string to a piece of, of a couple of layers of fabric like folded on top of each other. And what I do is I stick this fabric here so that the fabric wraps around the bass drum hoop when I screw this up so that when I'm on backline kits and my own kits, I'm not destroying the hoop of the drum, right? This fabric puts a layer of, because this screw right here, it is flat, but it's metal. Um, and if you grip your bass drum hoop too tightly, it'll start to like mark up the bass drum hoop and all that. So screw that up, that goes there. Uh, you can adjust this handle, uh, but I find that, you know, once I, once I put it there, it's like good to go. Um, and it's angled up a little bit. Since you're not actually using it at the correct angle, you'll see that this, this knob here gets in the way of putting it down too far. But again, you want it facing up at you a little bit. You don't want it flat facing like your knees or whatever. So, um, again, 40 bucks. I'm a professional musician, so to me, it was very worth it to have all my charts in one place. And if you want to know the chart reading app that I use, I use um, a chart reading app. It's called Fourscore. Uh, again, I'm not sponsored. Like, I just really like their product. So, I have a whole... If you go to timbulemusic.com slash gift, you can... Um, you, there's a bunch of apps that I use all the time, and Fourscore is one of them. So you can get a bunch of information about that. It's a free download, demos on how to use a bunch of these apps that I use all the time. Um, so if you're interested in that, take advantage of that, timbulemusic.com slash gift. Um, but all my charts are in one place. They stay on the bass drum hoop, so again, I can stay engaged with the audience, engaged with the artist. Because the last when you're playing for an artist, the last thing that they want to do when they turn around to look at their drummer they definitely do not want to see the side of your face. They want to see your face. So even if I'm reading a chart down here on my bass drum hoop, I'm not glued to it. Again, you, you have to know the music a little bit, so you're not glued to the chart the whole time. But even if I'm reading a chart, I can still make eye contact. Even though I'm looking down here, I can still make eye contact with someone that's over here in front of me looking back at the drum riser. So this seriously is such a great tool and again it's better than carrying a music stand around it's better than having something all the way off to your side and the adaptation of being able to put it on your bass drum hoop will make this even better than I used to clamp this to my hi-hat stand and it, it had to be under the hi-hat and it was a little weird because I couldn't tilt it back that far because the hi-hat stand got in the way so the space drum hoop adaptation is awesome. Um, and no, my ride cymbal has never hit my iPad. I have my ride cymbal up a little bit and it's pretty flat. It's not tilted to me because um, I like to crash my ride cymbal. 
So my ride symbol is typically up. Uh, so I've never had a problem where the iPad is. I've had a couple times where the iPad clamp has fallen off, but that's just because I didn't screw it down tight enough. I've played hour and a half, two hour shows, heavy hitting, uh, reading charts the whole time, and it hasn't fallen off. So that's my pro tip. This clamp is awesome. So again, if you want to check the clamp out, link in the description for the Amazon thing. I am not a paid endorser. This is not an affiliate thing. Like literally. I bought this two years ago and didn't know the name of the product. So it has four star reviews. It's held up for me for two years and I think it will for you too. There's not much to go wrong with it. I mean, it's plastic, but it's hard plastic. So unless you're like really being abusive to it, I don't think it's going to break. If you want to know more about the chart app, that I use and all that stuff, you can get that timbulemusic.com slash gift. Um, but this is just a quick video. I think this product's awesome. You should check it out. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.